The last cause of prostate problems we will address is that of infection. In addition to cancer, the prostate is susceptible to bacterial, viral, fungal, and parasitic infections. You will recall that ellagic acid is the ingredient used in endosterol to decrease cancer risk, but it does much more than that. Ellagic acid is truly a remarkable ingredient. Ellagic acid is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiparasitic as well. Ellagic acid is such a remarkable ingredient that it is well worth learning a bit more about it. Ellagic acid inhibits all bacteria by inhibiting the enzyme gyrase. Gyrase is only found in bacteria and it is the enzyme that allows bacterial DNA to coil. Without this enzyme, the bacteria's DNA unspools and the bacteria dies. Unlike traditional antibiotics that are specific to certain bacteria, ellagic acid works on all bacteria. Since gyrase isn't a human enzyme, inhibiting it does us no harm. Ellagic acid inhibits fungi and yeast by inhibiting the enzyme chitin synthase 2. Almost all fungi and yeast cell walls are built out of a polysaccharide called chitin and chitin synthase 2 is the enzyme they use to make chitin. Thus, by inhibiting chitin synthase 2, ellagic acid suppresses the growth of almost all fungi and yeast. Again, chitin synthase 2 is not a human enzyme, so inhibiting it does us no harm. Ellagic acid inhibits many viruses by inhibiting the enzyme integrase. Integrase is an enzyme that many viruses need to enter a cell. As you know, viruses cannot reproduce without entering a cell. So by inhibiting this enzyme, many viruses can be inhibited. Again, integrase is not a human enzyme, and its inhibition does us no harm. Finally, ellagic acid inhibits parasites, but the mechanism of how this happens is not yet fully understood. While many people believe parasitic infections to be limited to third world countries, many people harbor millions of intestinal parasites their whole lives without ever knowing it. Thus, in addition to the effects of ellagic acid on prostate cancer, ellagic acid also deals with the infective aspect of prostate disorders. Ellagic acid is also an ingredient in endosterol. We have now discussed the six main causes of prostate problems. Hormonal imbalances, cancer, zinc deficiency, cadmium toxicity, calcification, and infection. We have also discussed the ingredients best suited to deal with these problems, namely beta-cetosterol, ellagic acid, pumpkin extract, and EDTA. The last question to be answered is, in what form should these ingredients best be administered? The answer is, as a suppository. Suppository administration was chosen as the delivery mechanism for endosterol for two reasons. Firstly, rectal absorption is recognized as being some 20 times greater than oral absorption. Secondly, and more importantly, has to do with the location of the prostate. When a suppository is inserted into the body, it rests some mere inches away from the prostate itself. It is this ability of a suppository to deliver ingredients directly to the prostate that makes it the optimal method of administration. Congratulations! You've now completed a crash course on prostate health. You know the six main causes of prostate problems, as well as what ingredients can be taken both preventatively and therapeutically. For more information on Endosterol, a product that combines all the ingredients we've talked about, contact the healthcare provider who gave you this presentation.